Although most people associate Title IX and gender equity with sports, the bigger impact of Title IX over the last few years has been in the area of campus sexual assault and getting colleges and universities to look at how they're handling that. I've represented both accused and accusers, both male and female, hold, and helped them hold schools accountable in not only following Title IX, but also following their own written policies. A case that I recently filed in the D Federal District Court of Connecticut, John Doe versus Quinnipiac University, is just that type of case. The complaint alleges that Quinnipiac didn't follow Title IX or its own written policies, which resulted in an unfair and biased investigation, hearing, and outcome, all because of his gender. So Title IX's really changed things for students and school officials alike. It addresses a very real problem of the underreporting of sexual assault on college campuses, but it's caused a backlash in the lack of due process for the accused. Betsy DeVos's statement last week addressed many of the problems that I've personally encountered when representing both survivors and accused. I think meaningful change is necessary and that meaningful change can happen within an educational institution that advances both its educational mission and protects both the survivor and the accused.